This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Ogonoy. This is episode 46 of the podcast. Thank you very much for listening. As always, Jay Ogonoy po with Keepsakes. And I've just gone off the Pinoy Ataka Festival. Sobra po ako napagod at that time, my goodness. And... Uh, uh, siguro naman eh, the exhaustion was worth it kasi nakapag-moderate uli ako ng isang panel for the POF this year. And the topic this year, uh, on this year's panel that I moderated is about IDOR. So, with me was John Lorenzo Manalili. He is a fan and he is the admin basically ng Nice Ones. Uh, nice Ones is the fan group of MNL48 Nice And as you may know, si Nice po ay kasama na po ang kanyang mga magulang And she's out of MNL48 so we'll call her as Simply Nice And following that, from the perspective naman ng producer The Silom Dance World Battle 2018 Philippine Representative Wilhans Lopez and he is the gener- director general for the Eurodia. This is previously Project Eurodia, and uh, uh, it's also under Do It for the Idols since na take over na ni Lopez. And following that, we have the perspectives of idols. We have Tanchikon, and gusto ko sana paketin yung mga kabarangay from Barangay SK. Uh, uh, speaking of which, no, inside joke lang, ano, Barangay SK refers to Session Kakome. Isa sa mga, mga nag-introduce sa akin dito. They are performance group. Uh, they address themselves as a performance group. And nowadays, they're also treated as an idol group. And Tanchikon is one of the members of that group before even siya mag-solo. And... As you can see naman, as you will hear later on, supportado siya ng buong barangay SK and that is a great thing. Following that, of course, last but not the least is Trina, the leader of IV Musume, part of Hello Project Philippines. And this has been done during the third day of Pinoyotaka Festival. This is quick, 25 minutes lamang. It started around 6.30. Uh, and, uh, well, the rest is history. We will begin our four-member panel discussion about what does it take for one to be an idol. What it takes to be an idol, basically. Keepsakes, the podcast. We are talking about idols in the Philippines. What does it take to be an idol? I have here all of you. Come with, come with me, come with me, come with me. Here we go. Center stage, stage, to. Stage, stage, to. Atin to. All right. So, first and foremost, we have the perspectives of idols, fan, and producer. Yes, he's also a general producer, general director for the Eurydia which is also part of Do It For The Idols. Now, I just have only a few set of questions. Pakitimingan ako kung nasa lapas sa kami 25 minutes. Kasi yung sinabi yun sa amin. <laughs> Alright, so, first up, uh, let's get the perspective ng mga idols. Tash, what are your thoughts on being an idol? Oh, it's, it's different from being like produced by a higher company and being a self-sufficient idol, you're an independent idol. So all of your fans, you have to give it for your, for yourself and for the fans. You have to give time, effort, lots and lots of money, and you have to give everything that you got in order to show yourself to the people, and the people will see you and gain smiles from your performances. That's what I see. What an idol is. Tina, can you follow her answer? <laughs> Of course. Uh, for me, what's an idol is you, you need to have a strong will of passion. Because um, particularly sa mga independent idol groups na wala naman po mga support, ha? Um, so kailangan po talaga natin na magkaroon ng motivation para magpatuloy sa mga, ayun, sa mga activities. Alright, so we get the perspectives of the idols. We will now get the perspectives of the producers. Dance. What can you tell about producing an idol group on your own? 
Really? You have idea, di ba? One of the things kasi is, sa inisip ng mga tao na ang idol kasi, performance lang, di ba? Ang nakakalimutan kasi ng mga tao yung business perspective of it. Di ba? Being an idol, hindi lang siya dahil nagpo-perform ka, ano rin siya eh, how to maintain the group, di ba? So, yun lang. It's about the business. It's about the business. So, you're saying that idols are serious business. Yes. All right. We get the perspective of the fan. This is one eager fan. Again, Jalil Sumanalini, what are your thoughts on being a fan of the idol culture? For me, the idol culture, yung, ano, yung may enjoy ka, yung pag-assist ka ng marami para sa pinakakami Oshi mo, sa Oshi mo, para mapangat siya sa kanyang pangarap sa magiging idol. Ang root ko, naging admin ako ni Evel 48 Nice. Sinuportahan ko siya hanggang siya makarating niya yung maging senpak, ano, maging undergirls. Eh, kasasamang palad na yun, wala na siya. Katanggal siya ng HHD. Pero, natutuwa ako na yun kasi nakasama na yung mga parents niya, yung mga kapatid niya. Ayun. Ayun, okay, so... Uh, that's the perspective of each and every one of us. Ako as a fan, well, na-inclose na ako sa SIKP talaga fully with Eminem for Date. I, I, don't, I don't deny that. It's something that, that really exploded uh, into culture. Eh. So, uh, okay, so we will begin with the journey of an idol and we'll get it from the perspective of the idols. Of course, there will be spilling of tea. May tatakon mong tsaa dito. So take caution. We have performance groups like our audience here. Seishun Kakawe, a barangay SK po, ladies and gentlemen. Seishun Kakawe, please give a hand to my home group, Seishun Kakawe. She's also a member of Seishun Kakawe. Yeah, also a member. They've been performing since a long, long time ago. Very, very dedicated group of girls, and they're very, very good to be with. They've been there supporting me ever since. As a barangay, eh? So, from your perspective, thanks. Uh, Pa paano, paano, how did you get into this point? Na, sabi mo, ano, what made you decide na magsisimula ka maging idol? Eh, that's a very, very hard question, but I'll try to, I'm gonna try to do my best to answer that. Um, yeah, it's true that what you said earlier, MNL48 truly did give light, light, that shed light to the dark area of the idols in the Philippines. Like, it did. Uh, garner lots of attention to both fans and non-fans themselves. Like, even if you're an anime fan, you become an idol fan as well because of MNL48. That's a very, very good uh, 48G that they incorporated that system in the Philippines as well. So, when I got eliminated in the top 200 of MNL48, uh, after a while, I decided to model and to show myself that I am truly capable of bringing a magical girl to you guys and the idol that MNL48 would have gotten. So you're saying basically you, have, you, you are proving to yourself you still have the idol material. Yeah, that um, idol material as well. Like, not just proving myself, but doing my best to be of service to others because people idolize people because of something, right? They have their own idols because they want someone to cheer up, cheer up to, and they have like to find their own inspiration in their life. So that's what an idol is. I want to be an inspiration and a good model for everyone, and so that we will have like successful lives in our future. Okay, we go on to Trina. You've been doing this for how many years now? You've this performance group thing. Our group is for almost 10 years na po, pero ako pa I stayed for 5 years. Isang tikata, Hello Project Philippines! Isang tikata, uh, Ivy Musume. So, how did it start? In, 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 uh, in brief, how did it start? Sa opisa po, of course, wala naman po kasing financial support, so sobrang napakahirap po. Pero with the help and the passion of all of the members, nakapagpatuloy pang Ivy Musume for more than, or for almost 10 years. So yun, passion is the key. <laughs> so kumbaga, sa idols themselves, they have the passion. The businesses, the, the, the managers are trying to keep this afloat. Jans, 
from their answers, what can you tell? Mula sa mga sabot nila kanina, how do you complement it with your kind of stuff? Balik tayo sa akin. Like, managing group kasi dapat lagi nga na yun. As one kayo, di ba? Magbabalik tayo sa concept mo ng performance lang. Na, minsan kasi, sabi ko na yung story ng Rodia right now. Kasi, Rabdam ko yun na after one of the biggest stage nga last year is Manila Idol Matsuri na after that, rabdam ko na na bababa na sila kasi wala silang long term long term goal kasi gusto lang nila mag-perform lagi so dun ako nag-step in tapos ayun, it's always about nandun pa rin yung passion pero nandun pa rin dapat yung ano hindi lang passion as a family din kasi dapat kayo eh Diba dapat pare-pareho kayo ng perspective? Hindi yung dapat kayo mas nakataas. Ayun na, kaya nga kayo may management. Oo, dapat laging... Ito, hindi gano'n lang. Alright, thank you very much for that. At least alaman namin yung story ng Eurodia and that. Why you should follow them? Aside from their performance yung Idol Fiesta. Ayan, so... Gathering all of these answers, of course, let's go to the fans. Uh, I'm not saying here that we're comparing local idol community to ML48. We're not going to do that here. Eh? We're not. We're not. We're not here for that. What I want to tell you is how, as an, diba, idols are supposed to be an inspiration. Are they an inspiration to you as a fan? Yes. Uh, they are giving happiness and joy to everyone. We, ins uh, parang siya yung nabit yung idol na pwede kaya inspire para maganda sa work mo. Sa gawin mo sa bahay, maglinis ka ng bahay. Tapos ano, yun lang. Sure ka? Yun yes. Di pa tapos yan. Ayan. Okay. So, another side of things. Of course, may mga... Gaano na ba karaming grupo ang nagsasabi na they are idol groups? Di ba? We have performance groups. Yes, we understood that. We have like... Talagang idol groups like CS4U, Idol Sozai. Idol Sozai. Seisun uh, Kakome was a uh, consolidated performance group before, pero so much taga nila, they're consolidated idols. Tama? Tama. <laughs> Di, mas kisila, <laughs> Di, mas kisila, they want the answer straight from me. So oh, yes, uh, yun nga, no? Uh, yes, yes. like uh, numerous amounts of proclaim, um, groups proclaiming themselves as idol groups, and it's really, really like, touches my heart that everyone is doing their best to provide for the community, for the idol community in the Philippines, doing what they can and what they are supposed to. And I'm really, really like, hands down, thank you for the idol community in the Philippines. It's not, it's not a joke, it's a passion and it's something that only dedicated people were, will be able to do. Kasi sinasabi ng mga, for like, uh, of course, ito perspective ko talaga, you can find me on this. Porque but uh, porque cosplay na cosplay ka na, you can already tread into the idol. See, tell me more about a day in the life of an idol, in brief. Sige, we start with you, Trina, we'll go back to Tanjikan afterwards. A day in the life of, of an idol. A life of an idol? Yes. Um, actually, I don't know, for me, napakahirap po niya. <laughs> Kasi, aside from being an idol, may iba pa rin po kami outside this kind of industry. Uh, like me, I'm already working and it's really not easy for us to gather in a specific day to find time to practice. But still, for almost 10 years, we're doing it. So, yeah, we're just continuing what we're usually doing. So, yun po. Um, may iba pa pong uh, life or activities kami ginagawa aside from this. So, napakahirap po talaga. Alright, we'll pass the mic on to Tanji. Go on, Tanji. It depends on the context kasi when you say idol group. It's the same as saying beautiful. When you say someone is beautiful, in other people's eyes, he's not beautiful as the way you think he is, right? It's the, it really depends on the philosophical context on what a word or group of words is. So, walang batayan kung ano talaga, kung ano yung indie idol group or idol group. Basta ginagawa mo yung best mo, 
At sa tingin mo naman na nabibigay mo yung tama at yung sapat sa mga tao and they're really happy in what you're doing, they're inspired by what you're doing, that's what makes an idol for me. So yun ano, that is the perspective from everything uh, starting from the life of an idol to the business side of things. Ito pa happy ako pala ng business side of things ano. Pero uh, yung pagiging fan of course, uh, babalik ako sa iyo Lorenzo. Nasabi mo na na nakakapag uh, pampagaan ng loob sa iyo to. Yes. How do you support them? Uh, by buying their merch. Uh, support na uh, Thank you, thank you. Bili ng merch, uh, bili ng mga city, mga photocard. Alam, day by day, nag-iipon kami para mabili yung set ng mga mga favorito namin ko si, yung mga kanuhusin namin. Kaya pala yun yung pinapakita namin para para big support at uh, love, yung love namin para sa kalil lang. So, uh, you know, that's uh, his perspective. Kasi, of course, there's a counter-argument to that. Estudyante ako, paano ako makakabili ng merch? Paano ako makakaganito, ganyan? Of course, there's this thing called saving. And this hobby alone, people, cosplayers, condors, hindi ba kayo nag-sell ng isang daan, dalawang daan, tatong daan piso para pumasok dito? You might as well consider saving up for idol merch because that's the way you support your idols, especially in the local idol community. It's universal. Equivalent exchange. We give you happiness, you give us your resources to make you happy. Tama? Tama. Tama. Sir Jay, may tatagahin lang ako. Yes po. Yung pag-support namin sa idols, ano, kasi ed admin ako ni Nice, di ba? Uh, ang ginagawa ko, papagawa ko ng mga banner at mga pin para lang mabigay sa mga ibang kuota para yung pa parang bigay sa kuota kay Nice. How many digits does it cost you to provide this merch? How many digits? One digit, two digit, three digit? Mga, mga tamang amount niya, mga 1K, ganun. 1K, so that's 4 digits. Oh. Hindi bigay ka ang 1,000 pesos. Hindi bigay ka ang 1,000 pesos. Saka sir, ano? Kahit nasa labas kami, ikaw iway namin yung mga partner namin para ipakita namin yung supporta namin sa OSI namin. Team labas kami or team loob. Basta pinapakita namin yung pag-support namin sa OSI namin. Ay, walang pera. Basta pinapakita namin na mahal namin yung OSI namin. Okay, maraming salamat. Yes, Jans. May dadag pa na lane ng OSI namin. Ayun. Bibigay kami ng mga pin para kung pumila na yung o siya ng member na yun, ibigyan namin ng item para pang paano, pang pa freebie, pang say thank you for support sa o siya na yun. Ayan, so with that said, ilang minuto na lang tayo? 5 minutes na lang? Wala nang basa ko 15 minutes eh. Tama ba? <laughs> Ayan, so ladies and gentlemen, final thoughts po. Starting from Trina. Final thoughts. Mabilis lang. Um, Saan so naman nagbabalak na maging idol dyan? Huwag pa ko yung ano, huwag niyo pong itago yung um, willingness and yung passion nyo. As long na nakakanta kayo or nakakadance kayo, go lang po nang go. Ayan, we'll go back to Tansi Kaman. Thank you very much, Nina. How are you doing it? Tansi, just a brief uh, final thoughts. Okay, so. Ayun, um, I've already said what my heart wants to say and to impart to all you guys in the audience. I hope you just support the indie idol community as well as any idol community and you come to love and appreciate that we exist, okay? Tanchikon exists and every other group out there exists. Please, please, please support us. Thank you so much. Lorenzo, final thoughts. Mabilis na. Uh, please support indie idols. Mapa, MLA48, paman yan. O P-POP gen. Saka, bigyan nyo pa yung support ay mga local artists natin dito. Para, kasi yung nabibigay motivation para enlighten sila. Ano. Okay, final thoughts from Willans. Mabilis na. Mabilis, uh, gusto ko maging heart up to people aspiring at idol. Na huwag na huwag kayong gagawa ng grupo kung kayo trip nila. Okay? Kasi, tandaan nyo, it's always about pera eh. Ayos po, kasi, uh, practice, 
Gagawa kayo ng costume nyo. Blah, blah, blah. Something gano'n, di ba? Lagi yung isipin yung pera and... I think yun lang yun. How to market yourself, di ba? Anong unique sa'yo? Hindi puro get cosplayer ka magiging ano ano. Idol, di ba? Ayun, so again, Idol, Shiseki, based, uh, ano ba? Shiseki Marketing, Business, CD Production, Music Licensing na rin. Ang daming evolve sa business. Pag-uusapan natin yan in the long term, ano? Pero, thank you very much. Tina and Tachikon will be performing later. John Lucas Manalini, thank you very much. Thank you! Well, let's hope it's going for the Idol, Sipana, and Project Rupia. Yes po? Meron po pong abol? Ayan, okay. So, habang nag-award tayo ng certificates natin, pa-plug ko po, I just had a friend of mine na nagagina, gawin ko tambayan yung ano nila. Kung napiti kayo si Distasyon na to, doon, meron tayong mahabang discussion. It's called Dungeon Akiba in Mandaluyong City. Soon enough, we'll be doing a lot of things there. And marami sa mga sa Dungeon Akiba for accommodating us. So, ayan, Dungeon Akiba sa Mandaluyong City, sa Mandaluyong City Hall lang yan. Check for the Mercury Club, Mandalorian Branch. Wala pa lang yun doon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's award the certificates na po to Anchicon, John Lucas Manalili, Will Lance Lopez, and Trina from Ivy Musume. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks, Trina Sam. Here, Bob, for Ivy Musume. With Dina as the leader. Yeah, the next one is for Tanchikon. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat. Good luck sa performance mo. Up next, tama? Up next, ha? Sunod na ba? Yeah, thank you very much, Pinoy Otaka Festival, for having me here. Again, kung nabitin kayo sa usapan natin, maraming pa tayong pag-uusapan. This time, on a different place, different venue. Dungeon ng Iba, Mandalo yung City po. Puntaan po natin yan. I'll be scheduling a recording there. We'll have so much fun for the idols and gentlemen sa Manali. Yes, Tessa? Alright, so yun. Thank you po. Let's go to the game. Picture po, picture po. Picture po. Keepsakes, the podcast. Once again, thank you very much sa ating mga panelists. Will Hans Lopez, Do It For The Idols, and Rodia. Si Tanchikon, of course. And si Trina from Ivy Musume. And si John Lorenzo Manalini uh, of Nice Ones. Also an idol fan. And salamat na rin sa Seishon Kakume for uh, supporting uh, uh, our discussion by being present at the event uh, napakala- napakalaking uh, halaga yon although we started one hour late uh, on the following segment I will be having Seka on who is a member of Asterism and also the International Fan Fest Toronto 2019 Idol Competition Champion so uh, on the segment you'll hear more about Sekaon's plans, and of course, I also refer to her by her other name, Chio. Keepsakes, the podcast. So, yeah, no, no, uh, I'm here with Chio, and she just came back from Canada. <laughs> just came back from Canada, right? Yes, yes. I yeah. came here, uh, when was it? Um, last week, Tuesday. Right. So she is the uh, she is awarded the champion for the International Fan Fest Idol competition, right? Yes. Uh, uh, can, can you tell me more about it? Um, but in English. Sure. Okay. So uh, when I first auditioned for it, I thought, oh, there's like so many like very talented contestants, and I thought I wasn't gonna make it. So I was really surprised when I won, and I was wondering, oh, why did I win? But I was really glad that I was able. To again next year so yeah. having won the competition uh, what what do you think is the importance of representing us in the international scene um, I feel like winning the competition has allowed me to explore more of the idol scene especially
special aid through Canada and also experiencing it here through the Philippines, so I'm just starting. But I'm really glad that there are people who are supporting me and like people who I also support are supporting me, so I'm really glad that uh, I'm just overwhelmed that everything is like everybody is doing their best and uh, while well, I'm also doing this. That's it, uh, that's it for Chia for now and we'll be seeing her perform with Kivega and uh, Chef. Kayo, kayo, ali kayo. Okay, okay so yes, uh, with, uh, with Kivega and Sarah, Sarah. 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 Uh, this is the trio uh, subunit Sekise. So, say hi, say hi. Hi! Ayan. So they'll be doing, uh, they've been doing their career life since uh, day two pa. Day one, day two, diba? You've been doing this for, uh, this is the third time that you've been doing career life. So why did you, why did you do this? Why, what's, what came up in your mind? Why, why? why? This was actually my idea because I was like, hey, I'm going back to the Philippines, let's do something. And these guys said they wanted to perform too because the others have already performed. So I thought it'd be nice as well. We, we just we want a place and somewhere to perform with our friends since you know it's it's as Seika said it's a it's an opportunity we shouldn't miss. You know the uh, the whole idea of a unit started when uh, Seika and I was uh, thinking of doing a duet and then posting online and then for out of fun we just made like uh, our own name of a unit just uh, to, for fun and then this happened so there's three of us now and we're here. And I'm doing this. <laughs> so, Seki Se started out as us just messing around and then it just worked out. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, congratulations on the debut, actually. Oh, thank you. It's your debut, right? Kinda. 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 Well, it's not technically really a performance because we're just kinda wrecking the place, but yeah, it is our, kinda our first appearance. Yeah. We're winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> Because uh, if we make plans, no, don't yeah. fail. So might as well do it on the spot and we are good. <laughs> it's better yet, don't make a plan because it will plan out eventually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, forget about it if we make a plan. <laughs> better do it last minute, we're good. Yeah. Every plan doesn't happen. So there's plan B, plan C, and it still won't happen. Yeah. Well, I think it'll be better if, uh, if we plan it, like carefully plan it, we'll just uh, we'll get cold feet and we'll forget about it. Yeah, that's... So might as well, uh, like this, we're doing. Out of uh, one random conven uh, convention, just go there and then perform. And we are, that's way better than planning for months. This We planned this for like how many weeks? Weeks? No, we just planned this like last week. Yeah, just a week ago. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> um, hopefully, next year, we can do it more properly because uh, this thing was kind of last minute, but hopefully it'll work out, right? Yeah. For, now, for now, we're just gonna do whatever we can. All right, thank you very much. That's Seki Se and Seka on Chiyo. And again, once again, Chiyo, the champion for the International Fan Fest Toronto Idol Competition. Para pa naman uh, Oh, um, I also plan on joining uh, this year's uh, Anime North contest, which is this coming week when I go back to Canada, which is Saturday for the auditions and Sunday for the finals. Hopefully I get in. Um, the last time I came was uh, 2016, where I got on as a finalist, but only made it as uh, just a, you know, participant, <laughs> participant award. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, thank you, thank you, Chiyo. Thank you, Seki Se. Yeah. Yeah, salamat, salamat. I wish I could have uh, more questions, but uh, that, that will be enough. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're always unprepared. We're always un <laughs> same, same. <laughs> we're prepared. This is all planned. Yeah. <laughs> Keka Kudori. Winging it is part of the plan. Winging it is part of the plan. <laughs> Alright, so I guess meet you at the idol panel later at 5 30. Yeah, sure. yeah, yes, yes, we'll be there, of course. You're right. gonna talk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're gonna ask questions. Sure, 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 sure. Please do, um, please do. This time I'm staying longer, like, until, like, the night, so... 
I'll be supporting everybody who is going to be up on stage, not up on stage. So, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Great. High five, high five. High five, high five. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. No episodes can be heard at anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Leave your voice messages to this podcast through the Anchor app available on Google Play and App Store. Don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash keepsakes by J, Twitter at Jayagonoy, YouTube.com slash Jayagonoy, and my blog at www.jayagonoy.xyz. Shout out to Lee Rosie Bear for the music. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.